When people talk about soulmates or twin flames, they automatically think significant other. But in this case, my, my soulmate and my twin flame is my best friend, Savannah. Um, today, I just wanted to propose a toast and really thank her for being there for me through all the heartbreaks, the long deep talks to where we're crying for hours in my room and laughing till our stomachs hurt. So I want to propose a toast to why she is such a positive asset, asset in my life. Thanks to her, I learned to acknowledge mental health, to come out of my comfort zone, and most importantly, laugh every chance I can. Now, I know you're probably wondering, what even is a soulmate? As stated by Smart Moves Journal 2017, they are usually portrayed as two individuals who feel they have no place in life and are always out of step and usually feel that they are missing something when they are not with each other. That's literally me and her. Me and Seth have been friends for almost two, 10 years now, and we've seen each other at our lowest, and we had always promised each other that we would be there for each other no matter how hard it gets. And a few years ago, she went through a really deep depression to where she really felt like she didn't want to be here no more. And although this can be a touchy subject, um, I do feel like this has made her who, to who she is right now. Being that I never really encountered with someone with depression, this was kind of tough for me because I was her favorite person and I could bring her out of her sadness no matter what, but this is like the first time I truly felt helpless. And you never really know what's going on behind closed doors and I never in a million years thought this would even be on her mind. But the best thing I could do as a friend was just remind her that I'm always going to be there for her and that I'm by her side. That's all I could really do. And with the, within a couple of months, she started to blossom into like literally like a flower. She it was she was the person that she's always wanted to be. And as a best friend, watching her hit rock bottom to becoming the best version of herself was the most heartwarming experience for me. She began to come out of her comfort zone and being the introvert that she is, I knew this was gonna be tough for her, but she did it and eventually she came out as gay, which was, made me so proud. From that point moving forward, she never looked more herself. Um, it came to the point where even her happiness was rubbing off on me and to where I was coming out of my comfort zone and doing things that I wasn't used to doing. And as stated by Happiness Rubs Off on Others 2008, most important from our perspective is that the recognition that people are embedded in social networks and that the health and well-being of one person affects the health and well-being of others. Very true. We both started doing the things that made us happy and that's really what I wanted in a friendship. We literally complimented each other. We were blossoming together. I could go on all day about this speech and the million, reason why Sav, million reasons why Sav is my favorite person in the entire world, but the one thing that I really enjoy most about our friendship is how much we laugh. No matter what, where, or what situation we're in, we could be getting arrested and we probably still laugh about it, which can be a problem, but I really feel like it's my favorite thing about us. It has definitely taught me to enjoy the feeling of laughter and the moment in between it. Of course, laughing is fun, but when it's with the people that you truly love, it makes the moment even more memorable. It does make me tear up how old we're getting, and I wish it was as easy as a snap of a finger to go back to my room in sixth grade when we were talking all night and making up skits. But watching you grow has been the best thing that I've ever been a part of. Life is short and we're getting old, but one thing that will always remain the same is me and you. So here's to my bestie and her beautiful bride. Cheers. And P.S. She probably wouldn't have met her if it wasn't for me, so she could really thank me. 